Hey guys, it's Jessica Cook, your productivity coach and tech spe specialist for Keller Williams Premier Owasso, here to help you guys with adding documents to your command system. Lately, I've had people coming up to me in the hallways with their computer in their hands, their eyes really wide. They're like, oh my gosh, I have a listing. What do I do? Oh my gosh, I have an offer. What do I do? Um, so I've made this video so you can refer back to it in order to upload your documents, send it out for signature or upload your documents and submit them to the office. So the first video was about setting up your command system and connecting your DocuSign. The second video I made was about adding a contact. And the third video was about how to make an opportunity with that contact. So now I'm gonna show you how to attach documents. P.S. The first week of October will have another DocuSign class. So be watching the training calendar. And for all of those of you who cannot make it during the day, there will be an after hours DocuSign class on Tuesday the 8th at 5.30. So mark your calendars now. I won't be doing very many after hours things, so please take advantage of them when I do. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna show you how to put some documents in and you will be flying off into the sunset, happy and able to use your new DocuSign and command system. So here we go. I'm gonna go into opportunities. On my last video, we made an opportunity for Abraham Lincoln. He was in the listings under active, and here he is under the showing stage. So to get into your opportunity, you just click on the address here, 134 White House Road, and it takes you immediately to your details card within your opportunity. To get our documents uploaded, we have to go to the Documents tab. And as you see, we already have all of the things that you need for a full listing to be submitted to the Market Center. There are some things that are optional in here. There are some things that are conditional in here. And there's some things that are required. So in order to submit it to the Market Center, the required things are required. The conditional things are conditional and the optional things are optional. So let's just make sure that we have required files attached to these things. If you're sitting here thinking, what's a broker's broker duties form? You can click on it and it's gonna show you an example of the form. You cannot edit this. It's just an example so you know what to attach. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I got allergies going, running amok. Okay, so if you have downloaded all of your forms and all you have to do it, um, to your computer and all you have to do is attach them to here and submit them to the office, all you have to do is hit this add a file and browse your files and then you can pick where they are saved. Once you pick where they're saved, you hit the assign button and it'll pop it right in there, okay? Now, if you need to generate this form, either to print or to send off for signatures, we gotta go through DocuSign. So you're gonna go up here to this button, go to transaction. If this button does not exist in your world, then you need to go and attach your DocuSign to your command, which is under your settings and I showed you that in the first video, so please refer back to the first video if this button is missing. So go ahead and go to transaction, and this is gonna pop you right into your room that's associated with this opportunity. Now, I already have some documents in here because I use this in training, so ignore this. Normally, when you come in here, this will be not here. The first thing you're gonna do is click on this details tab, and you're gonna go through here and you are going to plug in as much as you can because that will auto populate into your um, contracts as you're editing them and save you lots of time. So take a moment, click this edit button and go through and fill out as much as you can on this form. As you see, I've already kind of filled some stuff in here so that you guys don't have to listen to me type. Let me take a quick drink. Sorry. Again, Oklahoma allergies. It's a serious problem. Okay, so now I'm going to show you after you have put everything in that you need, you're going to click on documents. This is going to be blank for you. So what you're going to do is click on this plus add button and click on DocuSign forms. Now, if you're not me and you've never come through here, I've, a uh, little box is gonna appear that says, um, enter your NRDS number and select your association. You need to do that. 
If you do not know your NRDS number, go to the National Association of Realtors website and find out your NARD, I'm sorry, NRDS number there, and then plug it in. Once you plug it in once, it'll take you directly to here when you come into your ad button. So as you can see, we have DocuSign Forms Library and we have groups. The library is all of the forms, so all your GTAR forms, all your OREC forms, so that you can go through and pick out the ones that you need. When you find the one that you need, click on it and click Add. Ah, oh, I added it right there. Now, I wanna show you something lovely. If you click on Add the plus Add button and go to DocuSign Forms, if you go under the forms groups. Dave and Heather have been lovely and have created us groups just like we had as templates in dot loop. So when you go into groups, you can pick a listing packet. You can pick a contract packet based on the loan because they're fabulous and just pick it. And then when you do all of the forms, the GTAR and OAR forms that you may need are here and you can click them. So these ones are grayed out because I've already clicked them and they're already in my room. But if you need to add anything else, you just click it here and click the Add button and it'll put it in your room. Now I'm going to show you how to edit a document. So we're just going to click on, and you can just click anywhere in here and it will take you into the document. Now if you plugged a lot of things into the details, a lot of things will auto-populate. If not, you'll go in here so you can see where it's auto-populated for me. If not, you can go in here and just click and start typing. You can also click your check boxes. Just kidding, you cannot. The check boxes have to be done with the, um, when you go in for signatures. So sorry about that. Um, ignore what I said. So what you're going to do is go through all your documents and you're going to fill in everything except your signatures, your initials, your dates, and your check boxes. Okay? So we're going to fill out everything except the signatures, the initials, the dates, and the check boxes. Once you fill out everything and you like the way it looks, you're going to hit save and close. It will replace the edited version of the property right here, or version of the property, sorry, version of the contract piece, the edited version will, re, uh, will auto replace right here into your room. So once you've filled out all of your documents and they're all edited and they look just like you like them and you need to put in signature boxes, initial boxes, dates signed or check marks, I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a minute. Now some of you may be thinking, so I like to just fill everything out by hand, or sometimes I'll just print it after I edit it, print it, have them sign it, and now I wanna put it back in here, okay? So what you can do, if you like to have a packet that you scan into the scanner and you wanna put it in here, you can do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Come up here to your little gray man in the top right-hand corner, go to settings, and right here under inbox details, so under your man, inbox details, there is an inbound email connected to your DocuSign. Now you can leave it as the one that they gave you, or you can change it to something that's easier to remember. Like jessicacook at mail.docusign.net. Once you change it, you gotta save the changes and make sure you remember what it is. Now, I can go to the scanner and I can scan in my entire packet of stuff and send it to this email account and it will come into this inbox within my DocuSign. And then when you click on inbox, there will be a lovely little packet that then you can select and move to your room. So it would come in here. I just click the top left hand corner and tell it to move to an active room, and I'd pick the room that I wanted it to move into, and then it would just go right into that room. So that is how you can scan in an entire packet and put it into your room. If you have any questions about that, come to the DocuSign class and I'll show you in person how to do that.
So I'm going to go back into my room, back into my documents, and if I had moved it here, it would, it would be here. And I'm also going to show you how to split that document during the DocuSign classes. I won't show you here that that'll just be more of a reason to come to the DocuSign classes. So if you need to go ahead and get signatures now, you'll click on the things that need signatures and then click this little DocuSign pen. It's going to put you into what they call envelopes. And first you're going to name it. So um, I'm going to put in Lincoln listing papers. And then you just make sure that everything you clicked is here. We're going to add our recipients that need to sign it. You click add recipient. And if you've plugged them into details, they are now a room participant and you can click who all will need to be signing. So we have Abe and his wife and me. There I am. Once you click everyone that's gonna be signing, you add the selected and there's everybody. And if you wanna change the message that they're gonna see, see, This is what they're gonna see in their email when you send it. Now, after you have everyone in, everyone has an email, you will not be able to add anyone to this if they don't have an email, okay? You're gonna hit next. And sometimes you have to hit it twice. And here's where you enter your signatures, initials, and dates. So as you can see, this top drop down menu will have everyone's name. So everyone has their own color established to them. So first we're gonna click on Abraham and we need a signature here. So I'm gonna click signature and I'm gonna drag it down and you're gonna click on the line. So the line it's pointing to within your box, you're gonna put it on the line where the signature needs to be. And then I'm gonna put in my date signed here. And I'll do the same thing for Miss Abraham's wife. Signature there and the date signed there. Okay, so I love the fact that it's different colors so that you can make sure everyone's boxes are there. The same thing for initials, if you have something that needs to be initialed, you can come over here to initial and plug it in. So there's Abraham's box, or Abraham's wife, sorry. And here's Abraham's box. Boom. Okay, and if you need check boxes or anything like that, make sure you put the check boxes um, in both colors for anyone who needs to sign it, and you can put your own in there as well. Once you put all of your signature boxes, your dates and your check marks or anything else you need to put in there, then, oh, by the way, this text, if you are trying to edit a document, will not work because it will only send it to the person whose color you're currently set on. So don't try to edit documents in here. Anyway, once you have your signature boxes and your date sign boxes and everything in here and you're ready to send it off, all you have to do is hit send. They will get it, they will send, they will sign it, and then it will come back to you. Once it comes back to you, we're gonna go back into our room. Once they sign it, it automatically updates the room contracts with the signed versions. So that makes it a lot easier. Once you get all your signatures back, you can go back into your command and now we can add files from our DocuSign. And the way you do that is you click add a file from DocuSign and they're in alphabetical order. Or not, just kidding. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a production cover sheet in there. Sorry guys. But I do have a listing agreement. 
and there it is right there. Boom. So once you have that done, you can assign it and it pops it right in there. Once you have connected all of the required fields with the things in your DocuSign, you'll notice that this submit to MC button lit up and I can now submit to the office. That's it guys. That is how you add documents to your opportunities and also how to send yourself a packet. You can go ahead if you want to and once you email yourself that packet into DocuSign, you can create a custom folder that is just the full packet and upload that and submit that to the office. If you want to learn how to do that, you need to come to the DocuSign classes. So DocuSign class, first uh, week of October, be there for more in-depth dive into adding documents to your opportunities and to be able to ask questions and all the fun stuff because I'm so much better live than I am in videos. So here you go. This will give you a good startup on how to add documents to your opportunities so that it'll get you through the weekend. And I'll see you next week at the DocuSign class or the After Hours DocuSign class on five, at 5.30 on the 8th. Thanks guys and have a fantastic day.